Hello, I'm Pastor Gareth Lyshen, the parish priest serving the four parishes of Saints Gabriel and Raphael, Saint Mary Magdalene, All Hallows and Saint Daverigs. Well, that's a bit of a mouthful, so if you live and worship in one of these four parishes, I'm inviting you to help us find a new name. For now, the name will be a patron saint or title over a group of four parishes working together. In a couple of years, we'll review whether the parishes should be merged into a single parish. But since the time's not right to do that now, there's no need to discuss the difference between being a parish and being a pastoral partnership. Why do I bother to mention this? Because the name that we choose now might well become the name of something which in the future is a parish. So what makes a good name? In this internet age, a good name is distinctive. It would be best if there is no other Christian organisation under the same name in South Wales, to avoid any possibility of confusion. Several people have already suggested one particular name to me, but I want to consult openly first to see if there are other strong candidates. Another desirable feature is that the name should have a convenient feast day. That is, it's associated with a date in the calendar so we can have a festival which doesn't fall at an inconvenient time. So for example, we could call ourselves the Parish of the Nativity, but then our feast day would be the 25th of December and we're likely to be focusing on other things at that time of year. And finally, a good name either has a local connection or it's expressive of who we are as a community. Canon law, which is the law of the Catholic Church, allows a wide range of possibilities for names. We could have a title or attribute of God or a name of Jesus. For example, Holy Trinity, Precious Blood, Good Shepherd, Holy Spirit. We could be named for an event in the life of Jesus or Mary, such as Annunciation, Visitation, Presentation. Or we could take a title of Mary, or Lady of, and there are many shrine names we could put in there, Rosa Mystica, Immaculate Heart. Or we could take the name of a group of saints, Holy Apostles, Guardian Angels, Welsh Martyrs. Or perhaps the name of just one saint or blessed. Maybe someone with a local connection. Or maybe one of Wales's beatified martyrs. Maybe of someone only recently beatified or canonised. Or maybe a name honouring one of our underrepresented Celtic women saints. Please take some time to pray about this and send your thoughts to me by emailing the address gareth.lyshen at rcadc.org or on paper, you can hand me your letter after Mass or send by post to St Doverig's Presbytery, the address is on the screen. And if you're doing this in school, your teachers can gather your proposals and send them in. But remember, if you want to propose a name, please put your reasons in writing. Why is this name appropriate? Is it unique in South Wales? Is there a local connection? What date is connected with it? And why is that a good time to celebrate? The closing date for submissions is noon on Shrove Tuesday, the 21st of February, 2023. And I look forward to hearing from you.